If the weather is really warm, then keeping as cool as possible can help you ride much, much faster. When choosing your kit, if you're buying anything specific, look for a full zip jersey. This allows you to open it up while climbing and it can keep you significantly cooler. Some riders like to wear a hat underneath their helmet. Check the forecast the night before and make your kit selection then. The weather can change dramatically during the day, so small things like removing your gloves or cap on the tourmalet will help disperse heat more rapidly. The same goes for cold conditions. You can put these items on. While these points will make a small difference, the more of them that you can use in your tactics and approach to LITAP, the greater your advantage will be. Just remember you can make it much, much easier on yourself if you use your head as well as your legs. It's a well-used phrase, riding behind someone can save you up to 30% of the effort of being in the wind. This isn't an exaggeration, so why not make the attack 30% easier? It's not quite as straightforward of course, not much is going to make the autocam 30% easier, but every way you can, think about sheltering and working with other riders. This is the kind of skill that takes practice, so if you can, go and ride with a group beforehand. Ideally, your front wheel will be about a metre from the wheel of the rider in front of you. Don't get too close as you don't know if you can trust them not to make a mistake, but tuck in behind and go with it. Sheltering from the wind doesn't just mean sitting directly behind the person in front of you. If the wind's coming from the side, then you also need to sit to the side. So if it's coming from the right, you'll need to sit to the left to gain maximum advantage and vice versa. You should always take into account which direction the wind is coming from. For the professionals who spend all their lives on their bikes, it becomes very instinctive. But if you're new to cycling, it should always be something at the forefront of your mind. Losing five minutes in the first hour may save you half an hour on the autocam. Cycling is a tough old sport, and those riders who make it to the top are often the ones that know how to use their effort wisely. Part of that is slipstreaming, but a large part of it is pacing. For example, don't ride alone. It's quite likely that on the day of the tap you might find yourself separated from your fellow riders. On the climb to the tourmalet and the autocam, you will clearly need to pace yourself. You need to avoid pushing it too hard too early. Always think about conserving your energy stores. If the tourmalet is going to take you two hours to ride, you must try and ride at an intensity that allows you to burn some fat as well as carbohydrates. This means in practice that you can still breathe comfortably and even sing to yourself if you really want to. First and foremost, you should use caution when descending, but they are a fantastic time to help with recovery. Use the opportunity of taking a break from pedalling and drink plenty, eat some solid food and generally concentrate on looking after yourself. This is particularly key on the descent of the tourmalade. It's going to take a long time, so if you eat something at the top, it's likely that the nutrients from it will be entering your bloodstream by the bottom. At this point, you might benefit from getting out of the saddle and changing your position, or having a bit of a stretch. Be sensible though, and don't do all of this at 50 miles per hour. Take it easy. The descent might seem like a good opportunity to make up some time, but with the road covered with other cyclists, it's a risky proposition, so keep it in check. Making sure that your bike is working perfectly can actually make a significant difference. Now, while I'm not suggesting that you could ever use a dirty bike as an excuse for a poor performance, it does go to show that small things can add up to make significant gains, especially mentally. So when it comes to your bike, make sure that your gears are spotlessly clean and well indexed and your tyres are inflated appropriately. If in doubt, put about 100 psi in, or 90 if it's wet. If you're really pushing the pace, take lessons from the pros and try and get aero you'll be spending a lot of time on the bike. And so looking to make a few aero savings could make a difference if you're looking to post a really competitive time. Try to minimize your frontal area whenever you're on the front at speeds of over 20 miles per hour. An aero jersey can save a few watts if you're buying anything for the event and always zip it up when you're going fast. The Le Tap de Tour is a stage, just like the Pro Peloton will endure and enjoy. It's a ride of two halves. The first half is quite straightforward and mostly flat, compared to the second half which features the climbs of the tourmalade and the autocam. 